Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here, on England's south coast. His army defeated by William of Normandy. Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day 1066, William was crowned the first Norman King of England. Now he had to secure power across the country. He began by stamping his mark on the landscape, building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. They reminded the Anglo-Saxon population exactly who was in charge. But not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. In 1069, a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. Together, they approached Norman-held York, a large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. But the walls couldn't save York. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. William's new kingdom was under threat. He had to get the city back under Norman control. William had no choice but to order his men north. But as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back by force. The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. 
Escolte, quitamos. Course cavalier. Vite. Man de mans. Où vivado? Secco. Spero. Ambulo. Escolte. Escolto. Vado. Para. Vado. Parat. Ene. Escolte. Vado, vado, ma sono che edifico. Cavala, bove ici, corso rel. The Norman army was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. Spero. Me. 
The Norman army came under attack from a new enemy, the Danes. With their stables in place, the Normans could add more cavalry to their army. William's army held back the Danes' attack, but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. The Normans discovered the source of the Dane threat, an outpost on the water. William had a choice, bypass the encampment, destroy it, or pay the Danes the gold they demanded. Si 
In destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. <laughs> William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. <laughs> The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Yeah. 
Keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England.